My parents played a lot of Mozart in the house when I was growing up, uh, particularly the late symphonies and the Da Ponte operas. So that I've realized now when I was a teenager and studying the piano seriously, and I came back to this music, um, the sonatas and the piano concertos and the operas, indeed, um, there was a kind of latent affinity for this music that had been, had been instilled in me, thanks to my parents. And I still have that feeling any time I hear a particularly touching Mozart melody, one of the many millions, um, there's this deep longing in me and a, a reminder of that connection that I had with him when I was a little kid growing up, essentially. I'd have to say, all told, when I think about a recording that has changed my life probably more than any other, it would have to be John Elliott Gardner's recording of Mozart Figaro from 1994, which was a recording that I discovered in my first years of, of university and which completely altered my perception of what was possible in Mozart performance. And it's something that I still listen to with great, for great and with great enjoyment. Um, that would be the one. I'm delighted and excited to be here working with Daniel and the orchestra. Daniel and I have worked together before and it was a complete and utter delight. I think he, if I may say, is one of those conductors who manages to bridge and jump into this stylistic area of mature Mozart with such ease and confidence and classiness. And it's a delight to work with him. He's a superb accompanist and understands this style really from the inside out. So I'm so thrilled to be working with the orchestra and Daniel in this Mozart concerto.